Since Mark was a boy, and since Robert was a boy, they've worshipped one man. The Lawrence Olivier of the Airways. What are you doing here? I'm one of the top ten imaginary friends kids have, just behind John Travolta, Reggie Jackson, and Farrah Fawcett Majors. But... Oh, my God. They're about to discover... We'll make a big soup. Mr. Shatner, I would like to say that I think you are the greatest American actor ever. I'm a Canadian. That their lifelong hero... I've got an idea. ...is definitely not of this world. It's a musical version of Julius Caesar. <sighs> I want to do the complete text. Well, I'll, I'll play Julius Caesar and all the other parts, too. The man I idolized since I was two turns out to be a raving loon. Ouch. And now... My lady friend, she left me. How can that be? I don't know. I mean, you're you. Right. He's going to lead them. How cool is that? On a voyage. Oh, my. To find love. Guys, you gotta mix a little reality in with your imagination. That's way stranger than science fiction. I'm not the one with the green girl sex fantasy. Oh, my. Did you see the way that she was peeping you? I don't believe it. I just met the most fantastic female. Claire. You should be happy for her. When Spock got infected by the spores and fell in love with Leela Colomi, he was happy too. But Kirk fought him, made him resist. Yeah, whatever. Who do you see starring in it? Rafer Weigel, Eric McCormick, Audie Englund, Patrick Van Horn, Phil Lamar, and William Shatner. In that Dr. Spock guy with those pointy ears. As Bill. You can call me Mr. Shatner now. No tears for Caesar. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often turned with their body. No one will ever believe this. Free Enterprise. Love long and party. Yeah.